Hi to everyone out there in the world. Today I'm going to read one book that I am actually currently reading. And my name is Denise. Today I'll be reading you Diet Wise. Toxic foods are common and cause a lot of harm. Everyone is different. Find out yours. This book that I will be covering is one of the books that I'm currently really interested in. And this would be the first book review or book preview, whichever you call it. So this would be just me reading you a few chapters in the book that I find really useful to share and I might also read other books in the future. So let's start with introduction. Toxic Foods The Original Detox Diet Over 30 years ago, a handful of doctors, myself among them, began working on what is today called a detox diet. I'm not talking here about fast foods and manufactured junk or known poisonous plants which are bad for everyone. I'm talking here about intolerance of everyday foods, good foods, whole foods even. It was an individual, idiosyncratic thing. We had little notion then of the nature of minor genetic variants in a person's genome, causing metabolic food intolerance. We thought in terms of food allergy. It was a continuous idea. Colleagues argued lines were drawn, a furious battle broke out. Ultimately, patients were the losers. For a while, orthodox doctors were busily arguing that food could not cause allergies on anything like the skill we were seeing. That hubris distracted them from grasping the enormous importance of what we pioneers were seeing in a clinical practice. Over the years, and on seeing tens of thousands of patients, I observed removing toxic foods from a person's diet could cure a vast number of serious illnesses, including, but not limited to, eczema, dermatitis, migraine, Kiliotis, high blood pressure, obesity, anorexia, depression, and alcoholism, as well as a whole host of minor complaints such as headaches, belly aches, joint pains, low moods, abdominal bloating, catara, difficulty walking in the morning, overweight, palpitations, heart attacks inability to concentrate, woolly brain, lack of libido, and general fatigue. Even cancer, arena, and mental cases did better. Getting rid of toxic foods also resulted in looking great, feeling good, losing lots of weight without needing to feel hungry, getting rid of age spots and wrinkles all of which made a person look a dozen years younger and brought boundless, zestful energy. Yet it was relatively easy to do. Once properly identified, avoiding a few toxic foods was far preferable to a life of suffering or chronic pill-taking. Patients recovered and were rightly grateful and joyful. It was a whole new, enjoyable way of life. Fresh, healthy, free and exciting. Even breaking the taboo foods once in a while did not result in a relapse for most. I used to liken this subject to a game and explain to patients there are rules, simple rules to be sure. But like any game, if you didn't know the rules, you had little chance of winning. I'm going to teach you all the rules. I will explain everything you need to know right here in these pages, how to do it yourself, without medical help 
or any specialist knowledge. It may be the only diet book you will ever need. Sounds unbelievable? Well, just keep reading. It's all here, but don't skip. This diet is totally different from anything you have read before. It's basically a custom feed diet. The reason I say that will become clear as we go along. You need to understand how it works and why. The early chapters lay down important groundwork for success and you will learn things your doctor probably doesn't even know about, much less discuss with you. Later we get to know how you carry out the extra steps. Be patient. This is a whole revolution we are talking here. It's a lot to absorb. I was taught these little known secrets by earlier pioneers and got miraculous results, which catapulted me into media fame around the world. For the first time in my career as a physician, I began to see real recoveries, real cures. I saw few patients because it takes longer using this route but made more sincere and lasting friends among my patients than I ever did in the bad old days of peer pushing. In fact, for almost 40 years, I have hardly ever prescribed a pharma, a, a pharma critical drug. Those who want them can always get them from eager doctors whose approach to disease is dominated by the physio science of big pharma. I have become a teacher in turn and realized that what I have learned over the decades is a considerable body of diet wisdom that is vital for everyone. This book summarizes most of what I know and is intended for those who want to take control of their own health and learn the ways and Wherefores of body function and nutritional science. All right, so this is the part I would share for today. I will continue reading this book, and if I come across any interesting pages or phrase or whatever that I think I can share, I will post another video. And um, well. It's my first time doing an uh, audio book like this online, so my voice may be a bit shaky, but maybe over a few videos it will get better. Or maybe sometimes on some days I'm more focused. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for listening to me reading this book. I hope and I will post more so that everyone can benefit from what I'm reading and this book is actually written over the years of 1985 and it's published in 2005 so it's pretty shocking to me that it is not so famous here yet but it's a book written in America it's re it was published in Las Vegas and I got it from Amazon. If you're interested, you could also get it from Amazon. They do have a used version, which I have bought. And it's only about... Um, the cheapest you can go is 10 USD. Uh, excluding the packaging and the shipping. So, if you're interested to get the book, you may. And, uh, yeah. It's called Diet Wise by Dr. Scott Mumby. He is a British trained MD professor and physician. Um, what's that called again? A physician, yes, he's a physician. This book also cover um, his cases that he went through his patients. He will cover the myths of nutrition medicine. He will go through with you the elimination steps of diet and what to do when the diet succeeds, when the diet fails. So it really depends on um, how you react to the food. So for me, recently I found that I am not 
very good with um, wild rocket vegetables if you know it's like an Italian salad it's called the rucola and I had like a whole box of it by myself and I had really bad inflammation and I actually realized it because I was doing a food log book for my diet and I realized that only when I take rucola it happens and also just uh, October this year I was in Portugal and when I was um, there and before I was there I was a full pescetarian but in Portugal I do ha I I did have some uh, prosciutto and also a lot of uh, fresh fish fresh seafood so on that period of time I was still okay with my diet nothing really flared up no inflammation and my acne cleared up I was pretty happy with my diet then of course emotionally might be always unstable or whatever you know when I came back I decided to try and take back some chicken and beef and see if it makes any changes and I do realize maybe maybe slightly that it could be causing some acne problems or inflammation in my body so it might not be the case but it might be the case and I also did a tolerance test that I hope the results will come back soon to me and I hope I could find out what they are and then try to adjust my diet as much as I can to live a good life so thank you guys see you in the next video ciao ciao